and we're back again. Tonight, I want to talk about bringing back that childlike creativity, really unlocking your inner genius, and this idea that in many ways you already have the power within you, and we become so fixated on learning, reading more books, taking more courses, going and getting another degree, and in many ways, while those things are not necessarily inherently bad, a lot of that inner power, genius, whatever you want to call it, you already have within you, and it's actually a process of unlearning everything. So without further ado, let's dive right into it. Now, a lot of the kind of principles around unlearning are often somewhat unintuitive and Again, it really goes back to the conditioning that we have had, you know, whether it's from our parents or from the education system, from the time that we're early, that you have to go through this kind of linear process of you learn this and then you learn this and you learn that. And while a lot of that is really good, a lot of it is we kind of want to look at it from the opposite side. And if you think about it, a lot of these universal underlying energy levels, if you want to call them, that you possess from the time you're born and every single human possesses them whether they be you know love courage discipline they're all things that you already have within you and it's kind of sad but as we go through life as you go through you know elementary school and middle school and high school college if you go uh on a higher education it's like you slowly get a lot of these core energies like beaten out of you like slowly one by one and you kind of get into what we call like groupthink conformity and it's just really it kind of like you just get it beaten out of you over time so what i've had to do is really unlearn a lot of the things that had been messing me up and what likely are messing you up as well so by unlearning them one of the you know, it's funny because one of the interesting exercises that I just recently started doing, and this doesn't exactly pertain to unlearning, but it's really good at kind of like unstifling you, is it's called the five minute exercise, or at least that's what I call it. And what I'll do is uh, either I'll just have a friend that I'll do it to, or I'll just take out my phone and I'll film myself for five minutes, just talk about complete gibberish like have it be coherent in the sense that you're using real words you're not just speaking in tongues like they're real words use real grammar but just make it be kind of like as absurd as you can so you can just start you know talking about how you know my cat went into the sandbox and then i had to go to the grocery store because i needed more milk to feed the dog that was actually raising the cat but unfortunately my neighbor he spilled a whole bunch of Clorox all over so I had to go over there then I had to mow his lawn because he had broken his back but my girlfriend also needed a foot rub so then I had to go buy new clothes for her and um, so it was just this whole ordeal and then I had this surprise visit birthday party that I had to plan which I had to bake a cake for unfortunately I was out of flour so I had to go back to the grocery store and it was just this whole unfortunate chain of events that happened anyway I'll do that for about five minutes and I'll, I'll try to do that every day. And what I'll notice is that it'll just completely unstifle me. So I am have battled with, I don't want to say battle with, but I, I definitely deal with uh, somewhat anxiety, uh, stifleness, being kind of overly analytical. And what this will do is it'll kind of just take you out of your head. A lot of times people will say that, oh, like they, in the moment, they didn't know the right thing to say or they didn't know the right thing to do. And again, doing this exercise, it kind of really boosts your creativity as well as brings back a lot of that child-like uh, qualities and characters that we've had just beaten out of us over the years. So give the five minute exercise a shot and uh, you'll notice that it's, it's really fun and that you kind of like can quickly also boost your state up. So it's great for creativity. It's great for unstifling you, getting out of your head. And uh, it's also just really fun to do. So continuing on that point that we already have this genius, this high level of energy within us is something that's extremely important. And throughout most of the 20th century, 
geniuses were always thought of as being somewhat superior in the sense that they had this like God given uh, talent or uh, skill that was different from everybody else. And while it may be true that some people in high levels of maybe mathematics or some sort of discipline like that uh, naturally are acclimated to that, um, a lot of that is based on, uh, or I should say a lot of the previous kind of misconceptions around genius were based around IQ, uh, which is essentially a measure of someone's ability to like memorize words and symbols, uh, which is definitely a measure of intelligence. But as we all know, there's so many different things that can that can create a genius. There's so many different types of skills and kind of social awareness, or even if you look at a lot of sports, so that's a level of genius if you're really good at sports, right? Um, musicians, artists, writers, there's so many different types of genius. And to sit there and just say that someone who has a high IQ is the only type of genius, it's just, is just not the case. So my goal with this video is for you to begin to realize that everyone has these higher elements instilled within them, this level of consciousness from birth. It is your birthright, so take advantage of it. And with that being said, you do need to narrow down what it is that you really like and realistically what it is that you're really good at. Not everyone is cut out to be a famous mathematician. Not everyone is cut out to be a NBA basketball player, but every single person has the ability to get really, really good at something. So I encourage you to really kind of deep dive into your skill set, what interests you, and the key is to align with these higher levels of energy, whether it be empathy or love or courage. Align yourself with that, and a lot of times when you align yourself with these higher levels of energy, and I know that's kind of like a vague term, what the hell is energy? Well, it's hard because in many ways, you can think of energy as being like a radio wave or um, a kind of invisible signal, and you can't really exactly see it. But when you can see it is when these things start manifesting in your life, and that's when they come to fruition, and that's when you can begin to realize that they are real. And what you'll notice is that people that operate on a super high level of energy will attract these things into their life and people that operate on a super low level they'll attract super negative things on their life so on the, on the high end right you're attracting health and wealth and on the low end it's poverty and despair so i think that's about it for this video try that five minute exercise where you just talk about absurdities for you know five minutes ten minutes try that every day uh, if you don't have someone that you can talk to because it is a little bit strange then I say just take out your cell phone and record yourself and then uh, watch it back and um, that's also a great exercise it's, it's so it's it's great because you just completely unstifle yourself so give that a shot yeah. another thing that I wanted to quickly tie in as I wrap up is this idea that everyone always thinks the grass is always greener on the other side of the hill or that time is going to somehow magically change things and they don't have to do any work they're just going to wait and they're going to win the lottery or their prince charming is going to fall out of the sky and marry them and everything is going to be happily ever after and i really encourage everybody to be the force behind the change, be the catalyst behind your change, behind your revolution, behind your transformation. And when you do this, the right people will, again, come into your life. But don't sit there and think that, oh, like I'm just going to uh, magically, things are gonna happen for me because they're not going to. And um, it's not being harsh, but it's just being realistic. And also realize that just by changing your location, it's, it's super prevalent. You'll see, I have a lot of relatives where they always wanna go on vacation because they think that next spot is gonna be so much better. And you know, while it's nice to change up the scenery and see new places, until you've really gone through this whole transformation, this whole body change, and on a, on a fundamental level, 
you really have no business going and exploring other areas. I always say, you know, you want to transform yourself first and then you can spread it to other people. You can go to other places and just realize that you need to put in the work and you need to be the catalyst for yourself and be the creator. Don't be super reactive. And it's, it's a hard one. And you know, you have to take action. And that's one of my biggest things that I'm always telling myself is your brain is going to naturally want to keep you in this little shell, this little defensive mode. It's out. It thinks it's in your best interest, right? Because you don't want to get killed by someone that you annoy or someone that you offend or, you know, it wants you to just kind of stay nice and, and, and happy in your little safe space. But you have to realize that this is just a biological kind of piece of evolution, but it's not working in your favor anymore. Maybe 10,000 years ago it was, but in the present day, there, there's not really any major threats, at least, you know, not for the average person living in the US. So I urge everybody to take the action and by taking action, you set up the little wins and you will be able to retrain your brain to the point where these things will get easier and easier. You'll be able to get in the flow state more efficiently. You'll be able to work longer. You'll be able to speak louder, attract better people that you want into your life. And again, you just have that snowball kind of cascade effect down the chain. So that's pretty much it. Do the five minute exercise, get back into the childlike state. Realize that a lot of the change you don't have to learn more things. You don't have to take more courses. Yes, you can choose to do that, but a lot of it is unlearning all the junk that has been forced upon you by society, by education, parents, friends, whatever. Not blaming anyone specifically. It's just, we get this shit beaten out of us over the years. So unlearn it to unlock your inner genius. Everyone possesses this. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Had a lot of fun filming it and I will be back very soon. I'm out.